hi, this is a day of transition. We are heading towards Istanbul from Switzerland. Our five days of Switzerland's Zurich are over. And we're staying at Sultan Ahmed Square in the heart of Old Town Istanbul. And we are stuck at passport control at Ataturk. We are like 300th from the counter. So despite having an I visa before, I'm stuck in the line for passport control. Avni, are you excited? Yeah. Right. So Indians generally get a visa on arrival here. And especially if you're traveling back from a Schengen country, Back to India via Istanbul, getting a visa is very simple, but uh, I had gotten an e-visa before coming here. Your e-visa is that you just apply online and you pay their fee online and within one hour you get a valid Turkish visa. But for Indians traveling back from a Schengen area or from the US via Istanbul, visa process is very easy. seater Mercedes Benz to ourselves as you can see it's an empty bus it's just JB and me with families heading towards Best Western Hotel two hours later check out our waiter out there kids don't try this at home The next morning. The difference is the Hagia Sophia. Beautiful people, it's the first day in Turkey and we've been joined by the gods. They've dropped in from Vienna. There he is coming over my shoulder. That's Mrs. God. That's their kids. God, you can say hi. Hi, how are you people? How was your Vienna trip? Vienna was very good and the most important person I found in Vienna was Maria Theresia. Maria Theresia. 16 kids, 11 daughters and five sons. And who's the most important son? Franz Josef, God, you've done your history very well. Bacho, come, come. This is fun. Why are you so happy? Don't worry, I'll come. I'll come. I'll come. I'll come. Don't worry. One, two. Oh, I'll give you my hand. One, two. One more. One, two. 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 First thing we're doing is doing the big bus hop on hop off of Istanbul.
So we did a two hour city tour of Istanbul first and it was wonderful and it's a very good way to look at the city by traveling by bus and we had a good overview and now we are heading into the iconic Hagia Sophia. Sophia was a Christian Methodist uh, church from the middle 300s up to the middle 1450s, uh, wherein uh, Sultan Mehmed II, who was the ruler of the Ottoman Empire, he converted this church into a mosque. And you can still see the amalgamation of both faiths in this monument. Uh, let me try and show you. That medallion over there is dedicated to the Prophet Muhammad. That medallion over there is dedicated to Allah the Great. And in between them, let me show you if I can zoom in. Yes, dear friends, that mosaic on the ceiling is that of Virgin Mary with Jesus on her lap. So as you can see, the Hagia Sophia has relics of both the Islam and Christian faiths. These medallions are dedicated to the caliphs. I am not sure which one is which, but Abu Bakr, Osman, Omar and Ali. The Hagia Sophia now is a museum. It's no more a place of worship. But this truly is a very wonderful building. Friends, we are inside the Basilica Cistern and if you've read Dan Brown's Inferno, this was where the climax of that novel happened. Without giving away any spoilers, I'd recommend that you read Dan Brown's Inferno. That is Romesh the Gore with the missus. Welcome to Basilica Cistern. Okay Google. Switch on the flashlight. Huge fish in the basilica. Catfish, it looks like, from their whiskers. The 
producer head. Of the Basilica cistern. So friends, the Basilica cistern is an underground water reservoir built in the 6th century by Roman Emperor Augustus and it's huge, it's humongous it's 140 meters long and 70 meters wide and it has hundreds and hundreds of these columns supporting the structure a marvel of engineering for the time 